My name is Ojo Isaac. I am the manager of Presta Royal Concept. Presta Royal Concept is an accounting software company located in Ikeja, Lagos. If this is your first time of coming to my channel, please click on the subscription button so that you will continue to receive professional and educative videos from us. The next video is about how to set up inventories and services. You go to maintain window, you click on maintain menu, the following will display. You look for inventory items. Inventory items window will display. This is where we set up inventory and services. In C50, we have different types of inventories under C50. So let's start by looking at the account ID. You enter the account ID inside the box. Then the description of the inventory, you enter there. Then item class. You go to item class and select the class that is corresponding to the type of inventory that you want to set up. The inventory, we have many types of inventory, like the stock items, that is for those physical items that you can buy and resell. The master stock item, those items that you can buy together as a group and can individually disable it and resell. Serialized stock items. Serialized stock items are those items that have serial number, e.g. the retard card. Non-stock items. Non-stock items are those items that you buy from the market for the purpose of use in the office. Then you have description only. You want to describe a particular inventory. Then service. Services. Yes. For those companies that are into services, like the law firm, like the accounting firm, like the uh, audit firm, so if their services are written down or rather are uh, prepared, they can set it up here and ready for use. Then assembly for those people that are into manufacturing. If you have an uh, item that you want to assemble, that you want to manufacture, you want to use here in security, you use assembly to set it up. Okay, I won't explain that. Let us move further to uh, the course case study that we are using. This is the case study that we are using. From the following, we have about uh, nine items that we want to set up. We have a uh, LCM DVD, we have a uh, Sony CD, we have ESA desktop, we have HP desktop, we have a uh, Mercury desktop, laptop, then we have the service item here, which is a C50 advanced trading. It's a service item. Then one also repair of computer is also a service item. All these are for mentioned that is from number one to number seven. There are physical items that you can see and the touch and for the purpose of reselling in your organization. So this is the item ID which is being taking care of, then the selling price, also the cost price. Then let us go to the setup so that we can set up one after the other. So let's go to C50 again. So everybody conglomerate. Then we open uh, maintain inventory window. So let's open maintain inventory window again. Now this is maintain inventory window. So we enter the, the ID. The ID has been created and it's already there. So enter the, the name of the item. Enter the name of the item. Enter the name of the item. Select the name of the item. Okay. So we after that I will go to item class and select stock item because what I'm setting up is physical item, something that is countable and can see it physically. Then I will Enter the price level. First of all, let's look at the various price level. Here, C50 make provision for 10 price level. In case you are dealing with a, 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 you are dealing with a product that has about two or three or four or five different prices, so therefore you can set them up here. For instance, this is this the first level can be for. Uh, a distributor, then the other one can be for a wholesaler, then why the other one can be working customer. So that's an example of how to use 
price level. Okay, let's quickly look at the the price of that particular product. The selling price is nine hundred, while the unit price the unit cost is seven hundred. So let's go there and enter it. Now nine hundred, nine hundred naira, nine hundred. Then while well, cost price is uh, seven hundred, seven hundred naira, seven hundred naira. So that is the done. Now if you observe the GL. Sales account is 40,000. This is the GL, the default GL that C50 create here. Do not change anything here. So, the GL inventory account, do not change anything here. It is 12,000. That is inventory ledger. Then, also, GL cost of sales, 50,000. Do not change anything here. Just leave it as it is so that C50 can use it to post into the respective ledger. Leave it as it is. Then we we'll move further to talk about the item tag. Then the item tag that you are setting up, if you classify it, how do you classify it in your organization? Is it accessories? So you you enter accessory. Accessory. If it's accessory, then if it's uh, under other ones, you can also say the location. Lagos. Lagos. So now you need to measurement pieces or each. So I prefer to use this is P C S that is abbreviation. Then weight it doesn't have a weight, but it is if it has a weight, then you can also enter the weight there. That is to say, if the unit of measurement is in kilo um, meter or kilogram kilo um, uh, 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 meters, so you can enter the weight inside the weight box. Then the minimum stock. What is the minimum stock of this particular product? I can enter the minimum stock when it's at 20. The software should prompt me. Then, when the quality I want to uh, make order, it can be 1,000. I can, that is the order level. Then, when I'm true, I will just go to save. Then, after I've saved that, it will save it and uh, ready for me to do another one. This is a physical item that can do. So let's progress to the next stage, which is set not of service item. Yes. Now let me let me put people on new. If you want to set up service item, like in the case of this number eight, which is uh, say fifty advanced training, I have here a SAT, which is the item ID. So it's very easy for me. I go to I go back to the uh, say 50 and then enter the the ID there SAT then I enter this ID there SAT capital S A T then the full the full name that is C50 uh, let me check again the full name I will enter the full name here then the full name will now come here and how much is it 20,000 okay so I will enter the full name here then after entering the full name, I'll click on item class. The item class for this particular service item is service. So I will select service. So if I select service, this now change the appearance of this particular um, inventory items. So this is how it is done. Please do not uh, try to adjust it by yourself. C50 will automatically adjust it by yourself, by itself, and uh, give you what you wanted. So there is no cost. If there is no cost, you can leave it out. Then, as I said before, G GL says I can leave it for forty thousand. Uh, GL GL salaries plus wages automatically says brought it out. So leave it. It will be able to use it to post properly for you. Then GL cost of sales also leave it as it is. So this is how to set up a service item for a particular organization. So I can now click on save. After which I want to see what I've done. I click on list. List will bring out the information. You can see the 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 list. I have two items there. So that is how I'm going to view it. Even if I have more than twenty items, it will give me.